I'm Ted Keyes, your host and top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. Welcome to this edition of your freight sales success training. After watching and applying it, you'll move more freight efficiently, effectively, and effortlessly and make more money financially. And if you have any questions, call me Ted Keyes at 626-309-9141. Now enjoy watching, learning, and applying Guys, hello and welcome to my Tuesday training call. I'm Ted Keyes, your top freight sales training expert. This is a free high-powered training I hold live every Tuesday for new, struggling, and top producing freight sales agents, forwarders, and freight brokers at 2 p.m. Pacific time and 5 p.m. Eastern time. Today I'll show you how to move more freight efficiently, effectively, and effortlessly so you multiply your income financially. And after this training, go to my website, tedkeysonline.com, to hear more of my podcasts, read more of my blog posts, watch more of my videos, and then visit my freight sales success store for top-notch freight moving products that multiply your income as well. When you arrive at my freight sales success store, you'll see a host of products available there for purchase. First one you'll see is my freight sales success guide, typically for beginner and struggling freight agents, that when you join our top producing freight sales office, I do provide this for you free of charge. Next product you'll see there is my freight sales success quotes. These quotes will get you motivated daily for you to get on the phone and make connections and build relations with the marketplace. Third product you'll see there is my freight sales success skills. These skills, as you'll see, this, this profession requires a tremendous amount of different skills. My freight sales success skills will teach you what's required to become a success. And also, my next product you'll see is my freight sales success training that will take you from knowing little or nothing about moving freight to watching the videos and covering your first load and beyond those products available in my freight sales success store. And while you're there at my website, on any page you happen to be, just go to the right and enter your contact details. By doing that, you'll receive your own weekly email invite to this and every training. You'll also get my free attachments I provide on every training. You'll also get my free report that's been downloaded thousands of times 11 ways freight brokers move 20 plus more loads per week. And if you want to multiply your income with my top producing freight sales success system for freight brokers, agents, forwarders, importers, and exporters, then go to tedkeysonline.com to get started. Today's topic is, today's training topic is freight sales phone skills that score. Freight sales phone skills that score. So for all of you or any of you that are on my, uh, my contact list and you got my, my invite today to get on the call, just scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to go over those attachments, those free attachments that I provided for you to go over with me. Again, you get those free attachments when you get on my contact list. If you're wondering how to do that, just go to my website, tedkeysonline.com, upper right hand corner, enter your contact info and that will get you on my contact list. So let's talk about our topic today. Topic today again is freight sales phone skills 
that score, freight sales phone skills that score. And what I mean by that is these are, I'm, I'm gonna go over four main points today, okay? I'm not gonna get into the questions you ask your prospects, your future customers, once you get a hold of them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go over these four main points just in order to connect, or if you're not getting through, what type of voicemail or voice message do, do you leave for them, all right? Uh, the, the, the questions, um, I reserve that for the, uh, my sales call information sheet and my freight sales success guide, which I just talked about. But let's talk about these, these freight sales phone skills that score, which means that bring you success in just continuing to get in contact with shipping decision makers that will actually give you loads to, to negotiate rates on and eventually allow you to move them. So. One thing you've got to uh, uh, take into consideration is connecting on the phone, you're going to fail. You're just going to fail, just like this whole profession. Once you get into it, you're going to fail. And one, one area that you're going to fail over and over again is in how you pick up the phone and talk to your prospects, okay? But here's the thing. When you do fail, fail forward, fail forward and fail quickly because we learn some of our best lessons when we fail. If you think you're gonna come into this and not, uh, not get anything, to, uh, you know, not make any mistakes, you are absolutely wrong. You will make mistake after mistake after mistake, just, just like you've gone through in your whole life. However, we don't learn unless we make mistakes, and that's the best way to learn, by actually making mistakes. If you you know, pick up a freight broker training book and read through it thinking, hey, this is what's going to bring me success, you're absolutely wrong. We learn the best on the job, okay? But when you do fail, don't beat yourself up. If you didn't get the contact, if you didn't get the prospect, or if you didn't move the load, just ask yourself, after you've failed, after you've made those mistakes time and time again, what did I learn from that? What could I have said differently to that shipping decision maker where I would have gotten, uh, you know, gotten the results that I would have, the results that I was that I was seeking? Okay. Then after you do that, take what you learned and then make adjustments for your next call because this profession involves us getting on the phone time and time and time again and making contact with the marketplace. That's the best instrument the best tool that we have if you think you're just going to take a contact list and email folks that you don't even know guess what they don't know you you don't know them i mean they're gonna they're gonna take you as a you know somebody you know from africa contacting them you know looking you know looking for you to assist them in you know getting their 15 million dollars if you know what i mean you've got to pick up the phone hence Freight sales, phone skills, that's what I'm going over today. And these will really assist you in making the score, at least getting through and getting contact info. So four points today, four points today. My first point is this, as you, as you uh, make these, uh, the, uh, as you develop your phone skills in freight, in freight sales, my first point is this, there's no best time to call. There's no best time to call. So what do you do? get on the phone and call now. There's absolutely no best time to call shipping decision makers. And if you think there is, okay, what happened today, it's gonna change tomorrow. You know, don't think that, hey, let me call at nine o'clock, they're just getting in, let me call at noon, let me call at three o'clock. There's no best time to call. Because if you, if you go in with that mindset, you are going to procrastinate your way through the day. You're gonna, you're gonna find excuses why you know, not to call somebody. There's no best time to call. If anything, this is mental. Get that in your mind. There's no best time to call. So what do you need to do? Call now. Call now. Don't attempt to strategize and plan your calls just like just like I talked about when you think a decision maker is going to answer the phone. That's a poor decision. That's a poor decision. As I said earlier, it's going to lead you to procrastination. If you do it once, you're going to find reasons time and time again to not make your phone calls, all right? And the assumption that you make about availability of your potential contact will have no basis. It just doesn't have any basis. Why? 
because you don't know the, 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 the kind of day that your prospect is having or what their schedule is. So whatever you're thinking, whatever you're thinking is going to lead you to come up with excuses anyway, not to call, all right? Don't attempt to figure it out. Just like I talked about earlier, get on the phone now or you won't reach anybody. It's just that simple. Get on the phone now. If you don't get on the phone now, you won't reach anybody. If you don't reach anybody, you're not adding to your contact list. And if they don't answer, always, 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 always leave a message. Always leave a message. Point number one, there's no best time to call. So what do you do? Call now. Now, just about what I talked about, always, always, always leave a message. That leads into point number two that I'm going to talk about, which is leave a simple and professional voicemail. Leave a simple and professional voice message. Let me, uh, let me just delve into this right away. Your outgoing message to prospects and future customers when you reach their voicemail, okay? Hey, the thing, to, the thing to think about is, have I reached the shipping decision maker? If you've reached the shipping decision maker, you're already one step ahead of the game. Now you actually have to call them and have a conversation with them. However, a lot of times you're going to get their name, you're going to get their number, uh, you know, the, the gatekeeper is going to patch you through and you're going to get their voicemail. So what do you do? Well. When you leave a voicemail, as I said earlier, make it, uh, first of all, always, always, always leave a voicemail. Make it simple and quick, all right? Make it simple and quick. Don't drag this thing out until eternity thinking, oh, wow, this guy is really going to be interested because I gave him all this information, all right? Don't leave details regarding the purpose of your call. Just ask or make, make it your attempt to get them to call you back. Now, how do you do that? Well, you're going to make it sound like the two of you I've already spoken before. Let me say that again. When you leave your voicemail, make it sound like the two of you have already spoken before. How do you do that? Well, here's the only, here's the only uh, example that I have. Here's an example. My shipping decision maker is Tom. I've gotten his name. I've gotten through. I get his voicemail. Here's what I say in my voicemail. Tom, hi, it's Ted Keys from Logistic Dynamics. Call me at 626-309-9141. At it's 11 o'clock your time. Thanks. Let me say that again. Hi, Tom. It's Ted Keys from Logistic Dynamics. Call me at 626-309-9141. It's 11 o'clock your time. Thanks. Excuse me. <coughs> it's very simple. I made it sound like I knew Tom, although I know his name, but I don't know Tom, but I made it sound like I did. How did I do? How did I make it sound like it? Because I kept it plain and simple. I mean, real simple. Tom, it's Ted from Logistic Dynamics. Call me at 626-309-9141. It's 11 o'clock your time. I, I, I say the time just to give him an idea of when I did call, all right? I left my phone number. I told him my name. I told him where I was calling from. Hey, for all I know, other folks have called him from Logistic Dynamics. I don't know. However, if they have, all right, that's a name that he can relate to our, uh, already. But if, so, it, it, I mean, just think about if somebody leaves a voice message with you and say it's a business, uh, a business call. I mean, if somebody just calls you and don't, you know, they don't leave the name of the business with you, how much, you know, how, how, mu how much stock will that have in you calling them back? So that's your simple voicemail that you leave. <clears throat> and... Keeping the message, keeping the same message, you're going to keep repeating that message until he calls you back. Whether you have to do it five times, uh, you know, five times, ten times, keep calling back and keep leaving the same message. You got some of these guys that, you know, after three calls, they, you know, they say, hey, you know, it's Ted, third call. You know, make it sound like it's the, make it sound like it's the first call every time. Because... First of all, if you keep doing it that way, you, your, your whole energy is going to be drained from your body. And if somebody does that to you, what, you know, how, how much are you going to want to call them back when they say, 
Hey, Ted, this is call number five. Please call me back. You know, <laughs> who's, who's going to want to return that call anyway? Make it sound the same time and time again. Now, on the flip side, somebody calls you, all right? Somebody calls you and you're not there. The incoming, uh, your incoming message to incoming callers after hours on the main business line. And I say after hours because, hey, if somebody's calling you during hours, you better be there to answer the phone. So basically, this is your, this is, uh, this is your message that they're going to hear when they call you. It should be short and sweet and easy to listen to and understand. If you called our office line after hours, here's what you will hear on my voice message or my voicemail. Hello and welcome. You've reached Logistic Dynamics, Logistic Dynamics at 626-309-9141. Our normal business hours are 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Leave your name and number twice. Again, leave your name and number twice and we will return your call during normal business hours. Thank you. I say leave your name and number twice because those are the two most important pieces of information that they can, that they can leave. Now, if they botch it up the first time or you know they, they run their numbers into each other and you don't understand, by leaving it again, by telling them to leave it again twice, at least you have an opportunity to get it on the second try, okay? But this message here is short and simple. Okay, it's short and sweet. So the, the voicemail that you leave is short and sweet. The voice, the voice, the incoming message that they hear is short and sweet. What does that tell you? It tells you to leave your messages short and sweet. Keep your accounts short, as it says in the Bible. Alrighty? So that's an example of the voice messages that you leave and the voice messages that your, uh, that your prospects your carriers, uh, you know, whoever it is, your drivers here when they call your number. And again, so important to say, leave your number twice. So point number two, again, talks about leaving a simple and professional voicemail. Point number three, guys, make one more call every day. Make one more call every day. If your goal is to make 10, you know, get 10 contacts a day, make another call and make it 11. That's, that, that's the point of point number three. Make one more call every day. Every day, make one more extra call. At the end of the day, attempt to pass yesterday's goals. I mean, if you got eight contacts yesterday, you know, keep making those calls until you get contact nine today. The whole goal here is to keep building up your contact list. The guy with the biggest contact list, okay, and the most emails, I mean, that, that's the person that will win in this profession. Top performers, they make that extra call, which gets extra contacts and new credit apps on a daily basis. Make that one extra call every day. Always make one more call the day before to continually expand your contact list, just, just like I just talked about. You know, and, and again, go by the number of contacts that you made. You know, how many contacts did, did you get yesterday? All right, did you get five? Did you get six? Did you get 15? I don't know, but whatever it is, make that just make that extra push to get one more today. And here's what you're going to do tomorrow. You're going to get one more than you got today. The whole goal is to build your contact list and build it fast. I get so many questions from individuals that call me initially and they say, Ted, how much money can I make, you know, after a month, after two, after three? And the only thing that comes to my mind is how, how much effort will you put into building your contact list? Because as you build your contact list, that is what's going to make you money. If you just sit at your desk all day and, you know, get on your computer and, you know, look at, uh, look at companies to call, but you don't call them, that's not going to do anything for you. It's actually getting on the phone and making the contacts and getting the contacts, getting the contact info, the, the emails, that's what's going to build your contact list. So it comes down to building your contact list. Your commissions will be equal to the contact list that you have built. If you've got the gumption to continue building that contact list, that's what's going to bring you the commissions and the higher commissions 
in this profession. So point number three is make one more extra call every day. Point number four is don't judge your success by the number of calls that you made. Just because you made a bunch of calls today and left a bunch of voice me messages, that doesn't mean anything. What matters, what matters, again, it goes back to your contact list. What matters is the number of contacts that you have on your list that you're actually interacting with on a daily basis. So you can't judge your numbers. So what if you made 50 calls today and left 40 voice messages? That really doesn't matter in the long run. Long run. What matters is how many individuals that you actually spoke to today and how effective were your conversations. Success is not solely the, the, the result of sales. It's you successfully connecting with the freight marketplace. Successfully connecting with the freight marketplace and actually building your contact list. What does that mean? Continue, anal, continually analyze your calling attempts. For example, people in the steel industry are not the same as people in the lumber industry or the same in the plastics industry. So when you call those folks, get the lingo of the industry that you're calling, all right? The more you ask successfully for information, for contact info, you know, what they ship, how do they ship it? Do they ship more than a pallet? Do they ship by reefer, by, by flatbed, by dry van? The more information that you get, again, that's all part of successfully making contact. The more information that you get from your prospects, the better off you will be in the long run. Four main points again. Again, first point is this, fail forward, all right? You will make mistakes as you make contact with the marketplace. Just get over it. It's going to happen. You, you've got my word on it. So, so really that's point number one that doesn't exist here. Fail forward. And you're gonna fail in every point that you make here. But the first point is this, there's no best time to call. So what do you do? Call now. Point number two, when you call and you get through, you get their voice message, leave a simple and professional voicemail. Point number three, make an extra call every day to surpass yesterday's total. Point number four is don't judge your success by the number of calls that you make. Judge your success by the calls, the effectiveness of the calls that you did make, okay? Did you get that email? Were you able to ask the important questions? Just because you made 100 calls today and you only got one contact, well, that's the effectiveness of your day. You got one contact. And even if that one contact, who were they, okay? Uh, was, it, was it a lumber company that they send their load list out to 100 different brokers? I mean, that's what it boils down to. It boils down to the effectiveness of, of making the calls and building your contact list. Excellent, excellent topic today. Again, that was freight sales phone skills that score. These main points here, those are sales skills that score once you understand them and continue over and over again going through the mistakes and, and just developing those skills that will assist you in scoring. Great topic today. Thanks for joining me today on my Tuesday training call. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it all again next Tuesday, same time, 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time on my Tuesday training call, guys. Thanks. Take care. God bless you all. I'll talk to you all again next week. Bye bye. So to wrap up today's training, if you want to multiply your income to get more time, money, and freedom then get my top producing freight sales success system at tedkeysonline.com. Go there now and get started today.